everyone, it's me, Victoria. And I'm Evan. And welcome to The Cars Garage. The Cars Garage is our place to learn, play, and create awesome things from the world of Pixar cars. Today in the garage, we're talking about propulsion. We're learning what makes things move so that we can move our cars diecast singles using things you can find around the house. That's right, no need for gas here. And to help us learn more, we're getting help from... Milo! Hey gang, I'm super excited to help you learn all about propulsion. To start things off, what do you already know? Hmm, I think propulsion means a way of pushing something forward. Exactly, and there's a lot of different ways to propel something. To learn more, we've got a bunch of fun experiments planned. First, we're gonna test magnets, and then balloons, and finally, rubber bands. Cool! cool. And of course, I'll be here as your adult supervisor to help with all the experiments. So let's kick things off by moving cars with magnets. How are we going to do that? I'm glad you asked. Okay, before we try moving our die-cast cars with magnets, let's understand how magnets work. Magnets are metal objects with invisible fields around them called magnetic fields that have both north and south poles. We can actually use these magnetic fields to push and pull other objects. Let me show you. Using these simple magnets that you can get at a hobby or craft store, you can see here that when you put a south pole and a north pole, they stick together. But if you put a north pole with a north pole or a south pole with a south pole, they push each other apart or repel. And we can actually use this force to push our cars. Now that we understand how magnets work, we can run our experiments. All right, gang, you ready for this experiment? Yeah! yeah. All right, I'm gonna tape these magnets to the ends of these sticks if you want to tape those magnets to the top of the cars. All right. All right. I'll pick later. Chase race a lot. Oh, and make sure and put the red side up. Oh, you got it. You're pros. We are the pros. Science pros. Oh, and don't forget, all these die-cast car singles that we are using today are sold separately. Oh, that's looking good. Victoria, can I see Mater real quick? Sure. So check this out. Because we've got a north pole on this magnet and a north pole on top of the car, when they get close, they repel and move the Whoa. car. Whoa! It's like magic! Even better, it's science. Who needs gas when you've got magnets? Hey, check out. I can drive Mater in reverse like this. Wanna have a reverse race? Pfft, you're on. All right, it's time for the ultimate reverse race. The amazing Chase Race a lot versus the awesome Tomato! Woo 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 woo! All right, gang, you ready for this? Yes. All right, on your mark, get set, go! Oh, Tomato's the winner! High five. All right, that was so much fun. What's next? Balloons. Yes, balloons. All right, let's get into some balloon science. When you blow up a balloon like this, You're trapping a bunch of air inside. Now that air wants to escape, creating air pressure. As long as I hold the balloon shut, it stays trapped. But when you let it go, the air is escaping so fast that it propels the balloon around the room. We should be able to use that same force to move our cars on their own. Quick safety note, balloons can be a choking hazard, so make sure and always have an adult supervisor like myself present when running experiments like this. All right, let's get to the experiment. For this experiment, we are going to attach these balloons to our cars so we can harness the power of air pressure. All right. You ready? All right. Yes. All right, step one, take your paper clip and you're gonna take the outside part, the skinny part, and bend it up just like this. Like that, this. Perfect. Now we're gonna take some tape we want just enough tape to wrap around the car. And you can take that strip of tape and kind of push down the middle of it on your paper clip, just on the table. Then you can stick it on the roof of your car. It makes it a little bit easier. Uh -huh. so right there in the top. No, don't attach to my balloon. And then wrap around. Make sure you don't block the wheels at all. He has a little unicorn horn. Looking good? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Perfect. Okay, 
We're gonna set that aside. The unicorn is a freeze. Next up, we need our straws. Shut up, the straw. And these are bendy straws, so you can bend the straw with a 45 degree angle, just like that. This? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Now we're gonna take our balloon, and you're gonna put the balloon on the short end, just so that the end of the balloon goes right to that bend. And now, this is the trickiest part, so it's okay if you need some help. We're gonna take our rubber bands, and we need to wrap it around enough times so that all that air pressure gets sealed in. You need it tight enough to hold the air pressure in, but not so tight to crush the straw inside. So all right. when you're done, you want it to kind of look like that. And you gotta wrap around a bunch of times to get it tight enough. Okay. Next step, take a strip of tape, and you can actually, just like we did with the other side of the paper clip, kind of stick it on just to get it in place. And then we're going to, I like to pull up the bottom of the balloon just to kind of expose the straw. And then we're gonna stick it right, kind of push it on, right on top of the paper clip okay. and then push. wrap that tape around. All right. And the paper clip just holds the balloon side of the straw straight up. I think I got it. There we go. Nice. Okay, last step. So you can see the straw's kind of wobbly on there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna tape down the other side and kind of put this tape right on top of the tape that holds the paper clip. Mm -hmm. So just right on the top. And try and get the straw as centered as you can. Like this? Exactly. Last step, grab the, the, whole, the whole setup. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna cut off the end of the straw, but leave like here, look where I'm doing it. You wanna leave enough space so you can still blow it up. Here? So, yeah. Whoa, whoa. They go fleeing. Oh, perfect. perfect. So here, I'll demonstrate on mine. Whoa, that's cool. That's big. I'm gonna pinch it, and then I'm gonna take one of these binder clips. I'm gonna pinch that at the end just to seal in all that air pressure. And then Perfect. you set it up and release. And that is the air pressure coming out of the balloon, getting forced through the straw and pushing the car forward. Uh oh, he's stuck. He's stuck. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. I bet my balloon powered Daniel Swervez can go way faster than your Ryan Laney. Well, we'll see about that. Ooh, challenge. Accepted. You guys ready? Yes, we're starting our engine. All vroom, right. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, 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 vroom. On your mark, get set, go! Oh, oh it's close, it's Whoop. close. He's oh, swerving off oh, the road. Daniel Suarez has swerved off, and Ryan inside Laney wins. Woo! Good, Good job. job. Woo! Okay, so we know how to move our cars with magnets and balloons, but how are we gonna move them with rubber bands? That is a great question, Victoria. I'm glad you asked. I think it's time for some more science. Last but not least, let's talk about the science behind rubber bands. These amazing inventions have elasticity, which is a crazy word that basically means when you stretch them, they always want to try and snap back to their original position. Now with the right contraption, we can harness this power and transfer it into our cars, propelling them forward. Lucky for us, I've already built such a contraption, so let's get to the tests. Okay, now that we know the science, I am proud to present the Diecaster. Whoa! Whoa! That's awesome! Look at that! Can we race with them? Uh, yeah, why do you think I made two? Awesome! awesome! Quick little safety note, never point your launchers at people or pets. No, no problem. problem. All right, it's time for the Diecaster Showdown. My bubble wheelhouse, Mercer far superior, Tim Treadless. Prove it on the pavement. Start your engine. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Three, two, one, go. Oh! And bye, bubble wheelhouse. Bubble wheelhouse is the winner. Let's get an instant replay of that. Yeah, that was really close. Thanks for joining us today. We learned a ton about propulsion. Yeah, thanks so much for your help, Miles. Yeah, thanks. Are you kidding? I had a blast. Me, Me too. too. See you all next time. Bye. Bye.